So many of you tagged me in this video, so I'm gonna tell you what's going on in this situation from all sides. Um, I recently went to the emergency room because um, I had dengue fever and it was really bad. Mind you, before I came into the hospital at all, I asked if they accepted my insurance and the receptionist said that they did accept my insurance. So anyway, the registration nurse comes in and she gives me this piece of paper. And basically what the paper says is that the, um, like the doctors or the anesthesiologist or anybody else that treats you are not employed by the hospital. They are private practitioners. And also uh, that they or may or may not participate in your insurance plan. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm going to have to summarize what happens next. So basically, this guy just got a form to sign that says, hey, even though you are in a hospital that accepts your insurance, we have doctors here who are not in network with your insurance. So then this patient has a very normal response and says, well, if that's the case, can you make sure that all the doctors who are going to treat me are in network with my insurance? So then this nurse or this registrar is basically like, uh, I don't know. And she goes and she gets the doctor and the doctor comes in and he's like, dude, I don't know either. I don't deal with what's in network or not in network. I can't tell you. And then they go get this third person and this third person is just, they're just rude. Do you want to sign or not? I'm not as because Nancy spent an hour and a half with you. So yes or no. Okay. But I, I understand it's difficult, but I just need somebody to tell me. I, I, I can't tell you. You so, can't tell me if you accept taking No, that's, that's billing. That's not me. Is there somebody I can talk to? I don't know. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on here. Prior to this year, it was completely legal for a patient to go into a hospital, verify with that hospital that they accepted the patient's insurance, and then unbeknownst to the patient and to the doctor, the doctor that treated the patient could be out of network with the patient's insurance, meaning the insurance wouldn't cover anything, and the hospital could bill the patient for the full amount of the doctor's services. In the beginning of the year, this practice became illegal for emergency services, but it is still technically legal for non-emergency services. And remember, most hospitals provide both emergent and non-emergent care. So hospitals will often just put this waiver in their stack of consents just in case. I am not defending the actions of this specific worker in this video, but I need to let y'all know why nobody could tell him anything about his bill. 99% of the healthcare workers working in the hospital have no clue whatsoever what your hospital visit is going to cost you. And if the hospital is in network with your insurance carrier, insurance carriers can have hundreds, thousands of different plans that all cover different things. Most insurance companies require hospitals to submit all the diagnosis codes, procedures, notes before they'll fully decide what they will cover and what will be the patient's responsibility. When a patient goes into the ER for an unplanned emergency, it is almost impossible to know every single test and procedure the patient will get while they're there. So it's so infuriating about our healthcare system because when I was working in the hospital as a nurse, I used to have patients like this all the time. They were scared about what their financial responsibility was going to be. And I, as a nurse, would spend hours on the phone trying to find anyone who could tell me what the cost of their care was going to be. The off chance that I could find somebody to come talk to my patient, they would typically say the same thing. And that is that we think that this is probably going to be the cost, but we won't know for sure until we submit to the insurance company after your visit. This is how hospitals and insurance companies continue to rob patients blind and then use healthcare workers as scapegoats. And to the patient in this video, I'm so sorry. Our healthcare system needs to change.